All right, so we are going to check out the Johnny Walker White Walker Blended Scotch Limited Edition. And I'm doing this because I did some of the other Game of Thrones. So this is another of that series. Uh, check out the bottle here. It looks cool. It has this nice reflective um, fancy ink on the bottle. It is uh, 41%. And uh, this is a cool thing on the side here. Um, it doesn't show that when it's not cold. It just looks like this other side, which is nothing. And then the other thing that's cool is his eyes actually turn blue when it's cold. So this has been in the freezer. Uh, it actually says on here that you're supposed to put it in the freezer. Um, right here, freeze for an unexpected icy reveal. Mm -hmm. And they have the nutritional facts, which is silly, I think. Um, so yeah, um, I've had this actually a couple times now. It's, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I think I paid uh, 34, I think it was. Uh, I got it at Costco. Uh, they had some, and I'm going to compare it. This is, uh, warm, and then I'm also going to compare it with it being cold. So, it's the same kind of bottle cap as, like, what's on, um, the red and the black. So, nothing fancy at all. Kind of cheaper. Um, and let's get a little bit in here. And I don't know if you can tell there when I poured it, but um, it's very syrupy when it's cold like that. So that's kind of interesting, huh? Um, almost no color to it. Um, you can see how this kind of syrupy it is for it because it's so cold. Let's actually put just a little bit more in there, huh? So, let's give it a smell. Mmm. Yeah. To be honest, uh, when it's cold like this, you, it smells almost like rubbing alcohol. Uh, now, I'm not... Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's... I don't know. It doesn't smell very good. Yeah, I pretty much only can smell like a rubbing alcohol with like, I don't know, this almost chemically, chemical kind of smell. Yeah. And then there's like a little bit of sweetness in there. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, unfortunately you get that strong alcohol flavor. Uh, that's the very first thing that I get. Um, there is a pretty good wood characteristic coming out. Vanilla and some sweetness. Um, not really like anything specific sweetness, just, just sweet. Sweet vanilla wood. Yeah. Sweet vanilla wood. Um, so if that sounds appealing, uh, that's for you. Um, I don't like it very much. I like Johnny Walker a lot. Uh, the black label I think is amazing for what it costs. And then the green label, which I'm going to get some and do a review of that soon, uh, that is 
just so great. Um, I almost like it better than blue. Blue is also amazing, but uh, for the price of green, it's so good. Now I'm gonna compare to this completely warm. It smells very different. You don't really smell the alcohol. Um, you get that sweetness. Um, a little malty. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, I don't know. You still kind of get that weird rubbing alcohol. Um, I don't know. I think it it's almost like young, maybe I would say. Like it's not aged enough. Um, you get that wood still. It does taste better warm, I think. Let's go with the cold again. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, this is, it's, it's not very great. I'd say like, if I'm gonna give it a score out of 10, I'm probably gonna be oh, 4.5, maybe five. Um, the flavors are wood, vanilla, general sweetness, um, I think the red label is better, um, unless you like the wood, because the wood is a lot stronger in this, and if you like wood, um, you'll like this better than the red label, uh, but, yeah, but, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not nasty or anything, uh, for 30 bucks, it's fine, it's, and, you know, you get the cool bottle and collector's edition and whatever, uh, so I like that. I like that they're actually participating in that. I don't know, the cold is kind of now maybe more my favorite than the warm, now that it's been out for a little bit. The main thing really for me is that for some reason, it just has this really like, I don't know, alcohol smell and taste. That's like one of the first things that just hits you. Uh, and I don't like it that much. Um, when it's cold, it, it kind of mellows that out a bit, but I don't know. Yeah, so again, I think it's probably like 4.5 to a 5 maybe out of 10, and it's got a really strong alcohol flavor, got a strong wood, got a strong vanilla, and then a weird sweetness. Um, to me, it tastes young, and I wouldn't pay much more than the 30 for, you know, actually, it might have been less than that. I think at Costco, it actually might have been like 20, 29, I think. You know, for a price like that, it's, it's fine. It's okay. But thanks.